There's this cool app that I did a video on a while ago that can actually be used to blow out a flame. Watch it start spinning. Watch what happens when I put it in front of it now. It blows out the fire. It makes it look like there's this digital fan in here that's blowing out the candle. But what's really happening is it's playing a specific frequency that's able to move the air strong enough to blow out the candle. So this app's pretty cool, but if it was just using sound from a speaker, what if we just supersize this whole setup? Could we actually put out bigger fires with sound? Well, it turns out this idea isn't new. I found a video that was made a few years ago about two college students who used big bass sound waves to put out a fire. So let's put this to the test and see if it actually works to put out a large fire using sound only. And does it work better than just blowing it out with a fan? So let's get my giant speaker out and play some bass. Okay, let's start off with a 70 hertz sound wave. Oh cow, that is loud. I'm gonna light my flame, turn on the sound. It immediately puts it out. <laughs> Even far from the speaker, the flame starts vibrating back and forth at the bass frequency. And as I move it closer to the speaker, it actually goes out pretty quickly and easily. But that's easy. Even my iPhone could blow out that flame. I'm just going to pour some alcohol in here to simulate a kitchen fire. Say you're cooking up your alcohol and accidentally light a candle by it and boom got a kitchen fire. But luckily you're playing some deep bass on your speaker. Let's see what happens. Now it's as loud as the speaker can go, but it's not really doing anything to the fire. So that's pretty disappointing. But let's see if we can figure out how to make it work better. The cones are moving air back and forth at a specific frequency. In this specific type of speaker, it pulls in air and pushes it back out through this hole in the back called a bass reflex port. Bass reflex ports enhance the speaker's low frequency response by providing an additional pathway for air movement. And this improves the efficiency of the speaker and even allows you to get to lower frequencies than you could without it. But in our case, what's nice about these ports is that all the air being vibrated by the speaker cones moving in and out also causes air to move in and out through this port. But because the area is much smaller, it moves more air in and out per area. So instead of pointing the speakers at the fire, let's point the reflex port at the fire. Oh. It's kind of wiggling the flame, but not really doing anything. We might need something else. One way to focus air down to a smaller area is to use a shape like this. This is called an air vortex cannon. It makes vortexes of air that let it travel much further than it could without them. So you can actually shoot things that are really far away with it. So let's just stick this at the end of our reflex port. Okay, here we go. Turn on the base. Now we can easily put out the fire. Whoa! When I first saw this, I thought it was really dumb. It's just blowing the fire out. But it's not really as dumb as you think. Let's compare this to trying to blow it out with a large fan. You can see that as I blow air on it, it doesn't go out very easily. It kind of just flattens the flame, but doesn't really make it go out. It's not putting it out. literally right over it and the fan can't put it out. But why? When you blow on a fire, depending on the size of the fire and the type of fuel that it's burning, it can either make the flame go out or it can actually make the flame get bigger and spread the fire and make it hotter. When I light this lighter, the reason it doesn't keep growing bigger and bigger isn't because it doesn't have enough oxygen. There's plenty of oxygen in the room, but the reason is because it doesn't have enough fuel. But when I blow on this little flame quickly, I dilute the fuel that's in the air so that there's now not even enough fuel in the air to ignite anymore. Also, I quickly cool down the flame so it doesn't have enough heat anymore as well. 
But in a bigger fire, the fire can quickly grow so big that it's limited by how much oxygen it has. That's why blowing on warm embers makes the fire grow bigger, because it has plenty of fuel and heat, it just needs more oxygen. And you blowing on it just provides it with the one thing it needs more of. Also, blowing on fires with movable fuel can just spread out the fuel so you have more area to burn and more access to unused oxygen. So in general, with fires any bigger than a small candle flame, you don't want to blow on them to put them out. But isn't that exactly what we are doing with the speaker? Well, not exactly. Well, let's look at the airspeed coming off the speaker versus a fan. So the blade is literally just vibrating back and forth. You're getting barely a bulk movement. Then when I put the air cannon on the back, you can see that it actually does generate a bulk movement of air. But still, the fan is blowing much more air than the air cannon here and over a much larger area. So the fan introduces way more blowing air and isn't able to blow out the fire as well as the air cannon, which does blow air but over a smaller area. You can see that the speaker is very slightly making air flow in one direction but it's mostly just moving the air back and forth. This is an important point. When you aim it at the fire, you aren't providing a lot of new oxygen to react, but you're just moving the air that's already around the fire. So it has spent fuel exhaust already there, like CO2 and CO, so it's not introducing a lot of new oxygen to it. Fires typically heat the air, which causes that warm air to rise and fresh air to come in from the bottom. But when you're using sound waves to wiggle the flame around it, it disrupts that natural flow of air and keeps old air there and starves the fire of oxygen. So you're wiggling the flame to death. What's interesting is that even though the air is wiggling back and forth, there still is a net movement of air away from the speaker. This is weird because the cones are only vibrating back and forth, so how's there a net movement of air? Notice how there's still this bag on the end, so how is air being able to flow through it and continually out the side here? This is caused by the fact that air moving into the air cannon is not coherent and it's spread over a large area. But air moving out of it is coherent air that's in a smaller area, so it moves faster. This is the same reason why you can blow a candle out, but you can't suck a candle out. So look out for the technology of giant speakers being used to put out a house fire. Or maybe not. And thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, remember to subscribe so you can see my latest videos. And thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.